Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at a, a reintroduced model of binoculars that's been in, in the wilderness, uh, although we thought discontinued for quite a number of years, but it's made a return. And it's the visionary Inara 7.5x36. And uh, it is available to purchase from the link in the description below. And um, uh, talking of which, all the usual stuff out of the way, if you um, haven't uh, subscribed already, please do so and give us a thumbs up. It's interactions like that that keep us well up uh, near the top of rankings on YouTube. And also, just as, if not more importantly, it's customers that visit our website and our Optics Weekends that means that this channel can continue to create, uh, add new fresh content. So before we get onto the set of binoculars, well, just as per normal, just have a quick look at the accessories. So you have a, a standard nylon case, uh, there is a belt loop there, and also a, 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 a strap to go around the neck. And it comes with a very small but functional microfiber cleaning cloth, and all the usual stuff, drop down or removable lens covers for the objective, and an all-in-one for the eyepiece, and then we come on to the the next strap, which is um, oh, that's a bit disappointing, really. A, a standard nylon strap with a set of binoculars in this price range. But fear not, uh, when you purchase from us, I will upgrade that to a padded strap. Uh, it, the the brand may vary, design may vary, but I'll, I'll definitely put in a better strap than that. Don't fear not. So it's. An in-between binocular. It's in between seven and eight times magnification, and it's in between your 32 millimeters, like your eight times 32 and your eight times 42. But it actually feels like um, and looks like a, a, a something like a, an eight by 32. But it is in fact a seven and a half times 36. Um, as far as I know, it's um, BAK4 prisms, full, full, fully multi-coated face corrected. Uh, I don't believe dielectric coated prisms but uh, we shall come on to the image very shortly. First thing, I noticed when I got it out of the box these are really really well built. The construction with these is excellent. Um, they're just over five, you know, 560 grams or so yet they, they feel incredibly well made. That was the very first thing I noticed and they, they, they are a very attractive binocular. And um, the field of view with these is 135 meters at a thousand, so a nice wide field of view. I can detect no internal reflection whatsoever, and that helps with your, your colours and contrast. Eye relief is not quoted, but I would estimate around about 16, 17 millimeters. Plenty for, for spectacle wearers. So let's do the eye cup test, uh, fully twisted out, and I will push in or try to push in without twisting. That is absolutely rock solid. Centre position, push in again. No, nope, that is very, very well done. So, really nice quality. Uh, twist eye, eye cups there. Uh, very easy to handle. And the thing you'll notice with these is, other than the absolutely silky smooth focuser, and is how big the depth of field is. So, for, for general use, you'll only really be doing that. You're not having to keep turning many times and unless you go into close focus which is about two meters but for most of the time really easy to handle and um, if, if you're out using it single-handed for example you walk in the dog and so you only have one hand spare you, you carry uh, holding the dog's lead with the other this binocular comes in a category of what I call they grow on you and um, that is a set of binoculars where when you first look through them you think yeah yeah these are okay but then you look through them again and again and they really grow on you and previous binoculars that have had this effect on me are the discontinued Viking Ventura 8x25 uh, another set that I've not reviewed yet the Ostar Eleanor 12x50 the latest uh, model and these the more you use these the more you fall in love with them and they also come into the category of what I call user friendly it's surprising how many times at the Optics Weekend people are trying binoculars for the first time, they're struggling to get the IPD distance, the distance between the eyes correct, they struggle with the eye relief, but these, you, you pick them up and they're good to go. 
they they really are for, for the for the beginner looking for a, a you know 150 pound or so binocular 100 I think I've got these about 169 at the moment uh, retail is 179 by the way then yeah these are extremely easy to use and going back to the close focus with some binoculars you have to pinch them together uh, the eye you know to get a good clear view close up you don't need to with these these are out of the box they are ridiculously easy to use for, for a first timer and so you know, with all that in mind the handling the large depth of field I mean really large depth of field uh, makes them very very user friendly so what about the optics it's uh, all good and well having a nice binocular that's easy to use what about the optics very good uh, a nice uh, not, not flat field there's just a, a slightest uh, touch of pin cushion distortion but most people are not even going to notice that a nice bright clear image with, with very good sharpness to the outer 15% or so but well well within tolerances you're not you're not going to notice that in most uh, con conditions They're, they are not ED glass so th there is some chromatic aberration with high contrast subjects I repeat with high contrast subjects looking at birds in the back garden or maybe for example you're in a bird hide watching some uh, wildlife on, on the water just in front of you you won't notice it it's really in high contrast subjects you'll just notice that that the um, purple outline to branches looking in in trees uh, which heavily backlit which just softens the contrast a little bit but that's an extreme uh, circumstance but again well within tolerances uh, I mentioned the field of view is 135 at a thousand the apparent field of view is not as wide as some but believe me that the, the, the quality of the image the ease of the handling uh, overshadows that and there are many many more plus points than minus points uh, I, I, this apparently is um, optically improved from the previous model but like I mentioned before the, the previous model was eight nine years ago so it's difficult really to compare I like this silver finish here like it makes them look really really nice binocular so yeah uh, plus points ridiculously easy to use if you're a first time or looking for a mid price binocular absolutely essential as I mentioned like easy to use easy to handle large depth of field large um, field of view very very easy to set whether you're not but wearing spectacles or not the only downside I would say is um, uh, the strap that I, I would have preferred to be a, uh, a padded one but fear not uh, I will be putting a padded strap in the box uh, as with most visionary binoculars it's a two years parts and labour warranty with an additional eight years parts only so thank you very much for watching I hope this helps please check out the link in the description where you can support our channel and make the purchase and we shall see you next time